looking at the flat to incline chain paddle to uh, show you guys how to adjust the chain tension. This is also known as a drag chain. So if you look down inside here in the pan, you notice that the chain, chain paddles are sitting flush onto the belly pans. Uh, the belly pan, there should be at least a quarter inch gap on those, which none of these have, so this chain is loose. So we need to move to the tail and show you how to tighten this up with the take ups. Okay, so now we're over here at the tail of the chain paddle. First thing we want to do is break loose our jam nuts on each side. And make sure that we have our all thread lubed with anti-seize so that it doesn't seize up on us. And typically what we want to do is take a measurement, same place on both sides to see where we're at. And we want to keep each side equal. So we want to start out in quarter inch increments of tightening up this chain. So therefore we tighten this up. We want to go on both sides, keep each side equal. Okay, and once we have that done, we go back up to the front and check and see if we have any clearance on our paddles. Okay, so now we're back over here to our incline. And if you notice, we've got clearance underneath our, our paddles, which means our tension is where it needs to be. And you don't want clearance on all of them. As long as you got the first couple in that main transition, that's what you're after. And you can get, just get your finger underneath there and that's exactly what you want. Um, you don't want to be up above your, your trough if you get right up or up against it too high such as that, when you put your cover back on, it will create friction and heat, and that'll be extra drag and amps on your motor, and also to wear out the top of your paddles quicker. So um, this is what you're after. So once we have this here, we go back to the tail and we snug that up and we close it up.